Okay, hi guys. Welcome to my first landscape photography YouTube video. Um, my name's Rick and I've probably been doing landscape photography for about just under two years I reckon. And today I've come locally to a woodland um, trying to make the most of the autumn colours which are really sort of in bloom. Maybe some trees are past their, their sell-by date now. Uh, I'm out here today, it's quite misty, quite moody, so it's really good autumn conditions. It's not too windy at all. So I thought, what would be, what would be better than, uh, than coming to a nice woodland? It's about 25 minutes away from me in um, Blackburn. Blackburn Bolton area and yeah there's no real plan there's no real compositions in mind I have been here before but yeah I came in summer so the colors are all green and I'm not a big fan of summer and probably most landscape photographers uh, aren't a fan of summer so yeah the reason why I suppose I've started this channel is a load of landscape photographers do this now um, which is fantastic uh, and yeah, I wanted to share techniques and tips and stuff. I am studying at a, a university in photography, so maybe if students, other students watch these videos, then that's great, they can learn some techniques and tips. So yeah, I'm going to carry on walking down this path now, which is a horrible climb back up, because it's so steep, uh, and I'll get back to you very shortly. Still looking for some compositions, but it's some fantastic colours. I don't know if you can see them there. Fantastic colours, fantastic uh, atmosphere and mood today, which I'm hopefully going to try and capture. There's some fantastic little waterfalls in there, stuff down here somewhere. And I'm trying to remember how to get to them because last time I got a bit lost trying to find it. I've been here. This is, in fact, this is the third time I've been here. Uh, the first time I came, I got completely lost. Couldn't find what I wanted to find. And yeah, so I'm back for the third time in autumn. So let's continue hunting and exploring for some good compositions. Okay, so first composition is set up. Uh, we've got this very nice waterfall with the sort of swirling leaves and, and um, it's like foam at the bottom of the, of the waterfall, just swirling around a little bit. Um, we've got this lovely tree here, which is just sort of framing the waterfall as well. And not only that, we have this lovely sort of leading orange line up further in to the picture as well. So. It's a composition, like I say, I've, I've seen and I've done uh, before in the past. The colours and seasons weren't correct for it. So this, this looks nice. I'm, I'm manually focusing. I'm at F11. I've got a polarizer on the front as well, just to get rid of the glare off of the, uh, the water and to pop the colours as well. And yeah, F11, what are we on here? 1.3 second exposure. ISO 200, two second timer, uh, yeah, and here's the image now. Right then, so first shot done. I think it might be okay, better than the last one anyway. Um, I am looking forward to see how it turns out in, uh, in post. But now I'm just gonna go further downstream and hopefully find some more interesting shots because I've not been downstream here for a long, long time now. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what's down there because I can't actually remember 
what is further downstream to be honest. So yeah, I'm gonna put the phone away because I've fallen over, <laughs> fallen over about three times uh, and dropped the camera. So, I don't want that to happen again. So if I come across anything, like I say, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to inform you all. Okay, so a very simple composition now. Uh, I literally stumbled across it as walking down the path. Uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, got this sort of very uh, goldeny green red tree. It's got this like, all these trees here have no leaves on and it really contrasts well. It's also got this very sort of brown and dead foreground as well. So it really stands out. I think it's missing a bit of light, you know, any sort of light just hitting that tree would be, would really make it, really make it pop. So I've, I've got this one, F8, uh, 113th of a second, ISO 200, manually focused, and I'm at uh, 24 mil on this camera, so that's 35 mil on a full frame. So yeah, I'm gonna take it on back to Lightroom and see See how it turns out, because I'm, I'm just not sure about it, but we will see. So, it's time to get back on the path and back looking further downstream. So this is my problem, I deviate off course a lot and uh, find myself sometimes lost, sometimes with a great shot. So hopefully that one does turn out good. Okay, so further downstream now, and I found a nice little composition. I've had a couple of practice practice shots, see sort of what aperture and things I'm using and what shutter speed. I'm actually gonna focus that. Now, I do like to focus that quite a lot because I hate things being slightly soft. So the reason why I'm stood here and not have the camera down there it's so loud I can't record down there you wouldn't be able to hear me so I'm gonna take my image I think I'm at f11 uh, about four seconds shutter speed um, and yeah I'm focusing on the, the tree the tree in the background and then the mid ground which is the stream and then the foreground which is leaves and a bit more stream so I'm gonna go take that now and I'll put that on screen right now for you So, literally a stone's throw from where I've just, just been, um, where I did the focus stacked image. I've come to this really sort of abstract image, and as you can see behind me, I've got the camera set up. It's this sort of swirling pool of water, which is looking really nice. So, sort of just making a really nice loop. And I've anchored the image with just these sort of leaves down here and this rock up here as well and it's just making your eye look at the leaves look straight at this amazing swirl i'm really happy with this one um really simple but really really punchy and bold and it has started to rain now so this is going to be the last last image of the day um i'm at f11 with a grad filter in also the polarizer as well um I hope you like it, I'll put that one on the screen now. So, I'm back home, 
the phone ran out of battery as I was walking back towards the car. So I couldn't film anymore. I did get another image on my way back to the car. I'll leave that on the screen for you to have a look at now. But yeah, I just want to say thank you all for watching. If you could leave a like rating, um, I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more content from myself. And I'll also leave some links down below if you want to check out my Instagram uh, page, just if you wanted to see any previous work that I've done. Um, and yeah, give me a follow on that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, hope you all have a good day, and I will hopefully see you all soon. Cheers.